There is a character on the Ronald McDonald wiki page. When you click on his entry, you'll notice something strange. On the actual page, there isn't a picture of him at all. It just says that he disappeared without a trace, becoming an urban legend. It is said that he is similar in appearance to Mary McCheese or Officer Big Mac and would steal other people's McGriddles for himself, similar to how the Hamburglar would steal hamburgers. The only mention of him by the McDonald's company is in a 2020 Instagram post. The goal of this video is to take the few evidence of his existence and to prove without a shadow of a doubt that there has never been a griddler but make sure to like this video and subscribe my goal is to hit 500 subscribers by the end of august all right let's get into it the way i see it there's four basic pieces of evidence proving his existence looks like mayor mccheese and officer big mac have you ever noticed that you don't see either of these characters very often anymore at all for that matter there's a reason for that. You see, back in 1977, McDonald's was sued by third generation puppeteer Sid and Marty, the creators of the nightmare fueled kids TV show, HR Puff and Stuff. I'm not gonna get into the whole thing here, but basically McDonald's stole the look of McDonald's land and the appearance of some of their characters from the show HR Puff and Stuff, with them even using some of the same puppeteers and voice actors. Needless to say, McDonald's lost the lawsuit, never used McDonald's land and the edible humanoid burger men ever again. So since then, Ronald and the gang hang out in the real world, mostly harassing customers of the establishment. McDonald's is a business. They're not looking to lose money. Why would they create a character that resembles characters that they know they're not allowed to use? For, so for that fact alone, it is insanely unlikely that he had a McGriddle for a head. McDonald's is covering him up. The few people that do believe in the Griddler think that McDonald's got rid of him because of something nefarious with the character. This was shot between 2003 and 2006, three whole years of him being around. But not only that, but someone would have a copy of the recording with him on it. See the Little Mermaid cover with the wiener on it, or that scene in The Rescuers where you see a naked woman. These examples of things removed from the media still exist. And that was way before home computers did and people can still get a hold of them. Do you remember that Instagram post from 2020 I mentioned at the beginning of the video? If McDonald's was trying to hide the Griddler, why mention him in a post they could have taken it down after they realized they mentioned him in the picture blowing the whole conspiracy wide open well look at the order of the characters in the building it follows a similar pattern to how the characters are listed off in the raw mcdonald wikipedia i think whoever was in charge of the social media account found a list of the characters and put them in the instagram post not realizing that one of them wasn't even a real character a lot of the characters have been around for a very long time before i googled it i didn't even know how these characters existed if mcdonald's was covering anything up they would have taken that post down years ago or maybe the person who's in charge of the instagram is aware of the urban legend and is messing with their followers wait who does run the instagram grimace grimace is in charge of all the social media for mcdonald's Man, Grimace, you're a bad friend. You don't even know who your friends are. Next thing we know about him is that he steals McGriddles. I find it very unlikely that McDonald's would have a food-based character running around trying to steal and eat food, let alone his own kind. If you haven't noticed, all the McDonaldland characters that go after food aren't food themselves. In the commercials, it's either a human or a monster that wants to eat McDonald's food. The food product citizens are never seen eating their own kind. I think that's done on purpose. It'd be a little unsettling if you saw one of the Nugget Buddies eating a nugget. It's a fine line of self-awareness that McDonald's is treading. Like, there's never been a commercial where the Hamburglar tries to eat Mary McCheese. I put together a list of all the characters and what they crave in McDonald's land. As you can see, none of the characters who are after food are the food that they're after themselves, let alone any type of food at all. The only characters that come close to eating their own kind are the trash cans because McDonald's food is trash. So having a character with a McGriddle head trying to eat McGriddles is a little problematic and also an outliner. He's too similar to the other McDonaldland characters. McDonald's might steal from other creators, but they never steal from themselves. 2003, 2006, this is when people remember seeing him. That's weird because according to the website liveonfox.com, in 2003, the company began slowly phasing out the characters from Ronald McDonald Land as the company wanted to appeal to a more adult customer. The same year they decided to get rid of the McDonald Land characters, it's also the same year they introduced a new character. Doesn't check out. I scoured the internet looking for the earliest evidence of the character existing. I found a post made in January 21st, 2019 on a website called doomworld.com by a user named MCD James. On the website, MCD James' avatar is Ronald McDonald doing the devil fingers. And I read most of his posts concerning McDonald. And for someone that talks a lot about McDonald's and has Ronald McDonald as his display picture, he doesn't seem to like them very much. I think this guy created the Griddler to mess with people. That's why his picture is Ronald McDonald and his name is MCD, it's McDonald's. He like clearly takes pride in the fact that he created a character and people believe it to exist. The post McDonald's made about the character was in 2020, a full year after this post was made. So does the Griddler exist? No. Not even a little bit. 
at least not yet. As the urban legend gets more popular, soon McDonald's is gonna take advantage of the hype. I think someday, the same way Sinbad filmed a fake scene for the fake movie Shazam, there will be a Griddler commercial probably poking fun at the Mandela effect. I noticed that in the last few years, McDonald's has started releasing Officer Big Mac and Mayor McCheese Funko Pops. I'm trying to figure out how McDonald's can get away with this. It says that if something is created before 1977 without a copyright, then it becomes public domain. And HR Puffin stuff was created in 1969. But they can't be public domain because they literally sued McDonald's over infringement of copyright. So unless McDonald's has some unpublic deal with Puffin stuff or they're breaking the law, maybe this means that one day we'll see a commercial with Mary McCheese, Officer Big Mac, and yes, even the Griddler in it. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. We're trying to get to 500 subscribers. Have a good day.